Okay, welcome back. This is Roy Leonard, All Things Wood. So what we're going to do in this video is um, carve a bowl. So hold on, let me get this. This is the wood I'm using. This ain't a piece, but this is a piece of it. This is a bit of, um, bit of ash. Got a lot of character wood. It's been down for a while. So I'm just going to show you the basic tools I use to accomplish this. So first, you've got the Makita 36 volt cordless um, chainsaw. So I'll just tell you a quick little story. If I see a little bit of wood or a tree down, I think I'll well, make a nice bowl. I take this out, take the bar off, put it in my rucksack and walk along you know, right away or the right of way. Just cut a little piece out what I need. You know, there's no harm in that, is there? So there's the saw. That's what I'm using to cut it. And then I cut it down to about an 80 mil slab to start doing the bowl. Next tool is Makita um, cordless 18 volt grinder. The first, this is, this is the white disc on it at the moment. The first disc I use is this chainsaw disc. That's what I carve it out with to initially. I always put the guard on because these are quite lethal. In the wrong hands and I always put the, the handle on so you get a good a good purchase like that so once you've carved out with that to the right depth then I'll go over it with this is an like abrasive wheel you can see the curve on it and you can get quite a good finish with this and it's not too rough if you know what I mean it's quite easy con to control what I did purchase was this this is only a four inch one but this is too, too fearless. You know, it's, it keeps going off, offline, and as soon as you go over your line, you've ruined your bowl. So I didn't really get on with them. Right, so you go over with that, and then 80 mil sanding, eh, not 80 mil, 80 grit sanding disc over with that. Get it a little bit finer, and then finally, I just bought this, this goes on the grinder as well. I did have one that went on the drill, but it's harder to control. So this goes onto the Makita grinder. That is 240 grit. And then finish it off with that. So stay tuned and we'll show you how it's done. Well, I'll show you how it's done because it's only me here. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, the next job is to cut it down. I don't know if I, if I tilt that out, I've screwed a bit of wood to the log below, there's a bit of a split in there. Right, can we see, there's a line, I've marked 80 mil back from this straight edge here, and that's what I've got to follow with a chainsaw. So, just take your time, because if you mess it up, how about it? Make it open. What I'm doing here is leaving the line in. Trying to keep it straight by doing it. Too bad. 
circle to cut it. Right, that's it for now. Catch me on the next clip. Thanks for watching. Okay, welcome back. So, what we're going to do now is use the um, cordless grinder with the chainsaw disc in. So what I do is always work back to your line. If you try going that way, I find you haven't got so much control because it's trying to pull from you. As soon as you go over the line, you knack at it really. So just see how it goes. See that? Hopefully the camera nudged it. I'm going to bring you in a bit closer. All right. So basically, you keep going round and round like a clock. So I don't want to show you all that because it's we'll get bored and turn off. Round and round, keep going round, and then you start edging out the other way with the blade, which I'll show you in a minute or later on. Okay. So that's it for this stage. Thank you. Okay. Welcome back. Now. I'm going to give you an overhead view of what I've done. So I've cut round and round and round until it's there's about half inch left in between each cut. So you can see what I mean about always bring the disc back because you can control it. But keep, I always try and keep the line in and you've always got something to follow. So just keep back from the line. Right, and I'm just going to show you if I don't trip over next stage just going to show you a bit of it all right that's steady don't trip on it all right next stage next stage you should go like that with a cutter fan it and work your way around I'll just show you a bit of it
right, so basically keep working round that fan sort of motion. That's not a complete finished depth, but you can get a rough idea, can't you? I'm going to carry on with that and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's see what we've done, shall we? So I've gone right round, hooked it all out. It's only rough at this stage. So now I need to know what depth I'm going at. So we know the piece of timber, or lumber, whatever you like to call it, is 80 mil thick. So I'm going to go down to 70 mil. So we're on we're on 30 at the moment. So I've got another 40 mil to hook out. So now you just got to repeat that process until you get to the right depth. And then basically that's the end of the um, chainsaw disc. Let me go on to the final one. Right, let's just steady that up. We'll just show you a bit more of it as I'm doing it. Give you a rough idea of what I'm doing. The thing is though, you learn all this off of YouTube. A rough, because I haven't been doing it that long, probably a few months. You learn all this off of YouTube. But you always pick up your own little tips on the way, you know, because I don't know, sometimes I've got a better idea maybe, or maybe not. So. Let me just see how this goes. Okay, we'll catch you on the next clip. Thank you. Okie dokie, there we go. So I've got it out more or less to 70 mil. So, so just basically, you don't want to go too deep. Probably about 65. Yes, yeah, 68, 67 mil. All right, so that's fine. Don't take too much out. Otherwise you're knackered. All right, let me just move that level out of the way. Is that good enough? Next job on the list. This little baby. All right, see the shape of it. It works a treat. There we go. Let's just get on. He's going to show you a little demonstration of this. And I think that'll be it for the night. <laughs>
hopefully that gives you a rough idea. Always work backwards is what I find. And then you, you can do a fairly good job of that. Keep the line in, work your way round, do the best you can with that. Hopefully I'm in shot, am I? Do the best you can and then move on to the sand. And I sand it with 80 grit. And then that'll do, and then I cut all the outside out, but we'll show that in the next clip. Thanks for watching. Look at the state of me. She's going to go absolutely mental when I go inside. Thank you. State of me, I didn't realise I wasn't in shot. So that's it for this little bit, and I'd better go on inside because it's no bedtime. Now look at the state of me. Look. She is going to go goddamn crazy. Goodbye for now. Okay, can you hear me? Right, what we're going to do now is go around with the 80 grit. We have the cordless round and round. Just watch how it's done. Look and learn. I'm going to wear the mask. Hopefully you can see me. There you go, so quick round with that. I'm not going to show you all because it gets a bit boring for you, not for me. All right, so we'll catch you on the next clip. Okay, here's where we've got to. You see I've got a, a place there in the middle of the bowl and it's propped off the roof of the garage onto a log and I've marked around the outside and now I want to cut right round here to get the outside in a rough sort of shape. Now what I'm going to do is put this bit of timber on, a bit of 4 by 2 or 2 by 4 see the angle I've cut there, it's about 40 degrees and that's going to guide my chainsaw at the right angle, only roughly because you can sort it all out afterwards alright so I'm just going to move the camera around so you can see what we are doing. Just hold steady. Don't panic. Right, there we go. Something like that. Alright, let's get in the action. Some 
radio. Left a screw in, I think. Which is me. Oh, there it is. There. There was a nail in the, in the log. Oh my. Right, just do a little bit more. Show you one more. See what I'm doing? Holding that on the angle and going round with the chainsaw. A little bit crude, but as long as it works, catch you in the next clip. I'll carry on round with this. Okie dokie, can you see me? Right, let's have a look at the bowl. We've gone over it with the old chainsaw. See that? Let's have a look, get you in the picture. There's the inside. It's coming on away, isn't it? So there, can you see the rough line of the outside I've got managed to get with a chainsaw? Yeah? That's just a rough. So now, I'm going to go over it again with the old grinder with the disc on. Just bear with me while I put my mask on. Okay, you get the rough idea, so I'm just going to carry on doing that and I'll catch you on the next clip. Thank you. Okay, this is very professional. Hope you can see me. I've gone over it with the um, grinder, you know, the abrasive wheel. Let's give it a little look, shall we? Sort of getting bowl shaped. All right, let's get you in there. All right, twist it around. Your lovely colours. Beautiful, eh? Right, the next little job. What I've done here is put three screws in into the log. So it holds it sort of steady. Next job. The sanding disc, eh? 80 grit. I'm going to just whip round it with that. Get it a little bit fine tuned. Bear with me again, put my mask on.
shape. There we go. Every every stage you get a little bit a little bit nearer the finished result, hopefully. So let's have a look. Come on, it's not too bad, is it, eh? You know, it's coming on, I love the colours. Right. I'm gonna carry on and get that a little bit better with the AT grip and I'll catch you in the next clip. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. We've come outside to finish off. So there we go. I'm gonna go over it with the old 240 grit. Just give you a quick demonstration. Not gonna do too much of this because it's way too dusty. I can finish off in my own time. So just watch a bit of this. Welcome back. Ooh. So here we have the finished bowl. For all you lot to see. Well, all ten of you. Okay. See the grain? A little imperfection there, but I'm going to put some resin in there. Is it one of my best bowls? Well, let you lot be the judge of that. Anyway, just wait there. Got a little song for you guys that's still watching anyway. Anyway, if you like the video, press like. If you want to subscribe, that would be nice. Well, she was just 17. You know what I mean. The way she looked was way beyond compare. So, 